Here's a breadboard we're going to build. This is uh, almost fi the finished stock portion of it. And let me just kind of run through stock preparation. Really want to pay attention when your teacher goes over this. So first thing we want to do is get all of our wood, a nice mix of light and dark woods. This is black walnut, cherry, black walnut, uh, maple in there. You could grab that wood from scrap pieces in here, or you could grab it from off cuts right here. If you're gonna use these pieces of wood right here, the first thing you do is surface the fourth edge. Okay, so this is smooth, smooth, surface three sides. I need to surface the fourth edge. I wanna do this uh, by wasting as little wood as possible. So I'm going to set that fence just to take off of here. My right hand goes forward, my left hand holds it this way. I'm going to take this through. All the way through past the blade. Now I'm surfaced on all four sides. Now I'm just going to cut off a thin strip, or a random strip. very important on this is that I have a surface edge on the back fence. So I'm going to cross cut it to length. Fingers never go in the path of that blade. Surface edge against the fence. Come back over to the table saw here. First thing I'm going to do, I want a nice clean working area. Then I'm going to Again, surface the fourth edge. And very important, my smooth surface edge goes against my fence. Fingers never go in the path of that blade. All the way past the blade. Two primary issues that you could have is number one, cutting yourself. The way you prevent that is fingers are never in the path of the blade on any saw. And then the second issue is getting hit by a kickback. If you have a nice clean face up against the fence and it stays against the fence, that's the best way to do it. Okay. So now I have all my pieces of wood. I want to make sure they all lay out really nicely and that they all have a really nice tight fit. So that's the first step, wood preparation. So again, don't use any of the tools until you've been trained by your teacher completely. If you're uncomfortable in the slightest bit using any tool or you haven't been trained, make sure you ask me how to use the saws. Okay, I have all my wood cut. I have a nice layout. What I want to do with that nice layout is what's called dry clamping. I want to use pipe clamps so I can push flat down against the pipe. I dry clamp them back and forth. After I'm done dry clamping them with no glue, I look <coughs> to make sure I have no gaps. If there are no gaps, I undo the clamps, pull my wood back out, and I want to use a good coating of glue on every face. I want paper towels down underneath my clamps. And then I glue every piece together. Once they're all glued together, I clamp again, back and forth, back and forth. And then I need to let that glue dry overnight. Label it with your name and block on there, and then once you're left it for overnight, then the next day you're going to plane it, and I'll go over that next.